Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn on how to actually send emails with Brevo. The first is you have to sign up or sign in for an account. And once you're here on your dashboard, you'll be able to see this total contacts, the opens, when again, we know for sure how many people open your emails and the trackable population, and then people who did not open your email. So you also have here the clicks and the black list. So all of these details are here on your dashboard. Now going back to your home, you'd be able to see this section right here. For the feature, you can boost your influence, you can simplify your connections, and you can tailor your path to success. So you can create a campaign, add contacts, and manage your plan. Right here, you can also bring out the full potential of your sales team. You can get started for free. And then follow your transactional email metrics on your homepage. Then show transactional emails on the homepage. And right here, you also have real-time customer chat keeps your sales flowing and get started for free. And right here at the top, you'll then just have to scroll up. And then you'd be able to see this get started with marketing section. So just have to click on it. And as you can see, we have completed our profile form. Now we can add our first contacts. So you can import contacts from a file, a CRM, or add contacts manually. So you can do all three. Okay, now you can also schedule your first campaign at Need Inspiration. You can browse or gallery and pick a template. Now to begin, just click on this context at the top right. So right here, you can import from a file, copy paste, or import from another tool. Now to add your first contact, just simply click on this context option at the left side of your screen. And then you'd be able to see this section right here. Now you just have to click on to create a contact option at the top right. So this one right here, and then just have to type out the first name, the last name, the email, and of course the phone number. So you just have to select the country and then type out the phone number. And then you have to select the list. So now I'm going to type out my first name and then the last name, and of course my email and then my phone number. So right here, you just have to select your country before you can add your number. And here, you can create your first folder for your list. So you just have to click on it and then click on create a new list and then click on create. Now, your first contact has been successfully created. So you just go back home right here. And then when you scroll down, you'll be able to see this contacts option. So you get two total contacts and then your new contacts over the last 30 days is two as well. And below, you can see this recent campaign. So you can launch your first campaign. You can boost your business by messaging a wide audience. Now let's go to the campaign section at the left side. So under the campaigns, you have email, SMS, you have WhatsApp, web push, you have Facebook ads for pro plan. So you have to pay for this. You've got templates, statistics, and then the settings. So now let us create our email. So to do that, just click on the email below the campaigns and then click on the create an email campaign at the top right. So you've got the regular and the A-B test. For the regular, you can keep subscribers engaged by sharing your latest news, promoting your best-selling products, or announcing an upcoming event. For the A-B test, you can choose an element A-B test. Recipient in your test group will receive either version A or B. So this version with the best engagement will be sent to your remaining recipients. Now let's use the regular. Then right here below, you can create your campaign names. For example, sample campaign, and then just have to click on the create campaign option. And then you'd be redirected to this page. So right here, you can review your sender status by clicking on this manage sender at the left side. I mean, at the right side of your screen. So we just click on it. So you can review your sender status right here. Then after finalizing your email address as well as the name, you just have to click on save. And then going back here, you can add the people who receive your campaign for recipients. So you just have to click on this add recipient section at the right side of your screen. So I just clicked on it and then you'd be redirected to this page. Now you just have to select a list or segments. So we are going to select the first list that we have created earlier just clicked on it and then select your first list or select all options 
and then just have to close this one and then make sure to click on save okay so you've got two recipients so you got 300 remaining emails for this free plan so you just have to click on the save button at the bottom right of your screen and then once you're done let's proceed now to the third one which is the subjects you can add a subject line for this campaign so you just click on add a subject and right here you can type out your subject line so for example from a voucher and then you can also use an ai to create your subject line and for the preview text you can also type out like something like get it now and then just have to click on save and once you're done let's proceed to the design so you can create your email content so just click on start designing so right here you can choose different layouts that you can actually use for your campaign so for example you want to share your source headline promote your product with a catchy title you can also go to the template gallery my templates go to the campaigns or you can code your own but for this video i'm going to use this one so just click on use this template and right here the left side be able to see these different elements that you can actually add to your template so right here you can edit anything so for example you would want to add your own logo so just have to click on it and then click on delete and then upload your own and of course you can also edit different text right here so you can edit the alignment the spacing and the font style as well and of course the different colors for your campaign so for example this one right here you just have to click on it and you can go ahead and use the ai assistant so for the text settings you can change the text alignment the line height the writing direction the background the layout the spacing and the borders so just have to click on one by one then for the background if you would want to use different background colors you can change that as well so it's up to you on how to create a very catchy email campaign okay and right here in the scroll down be able to see this different option as well so if you would want to upload your own picture so you can remove this one right here on your template because this is a default photo so you have to remove this one and upload your own so you just have to click on it and then replace it and if you have different social media platforms account for your business so you can add social just simply click on it and drag it over here and then the social icons will be added right here so when you click on it you can add here the social media links for your account so you've got facebook twitter youtube and then linkedin or you can add more now when you finalize everything you can preview this one in a mobile view or the desktop view so we just click on this icon at the top and once this is ready you just have to click on the send test email and if you think everything is ready you can now save and quit and then going back here you can now schedule this email campaign so you can send it now schedule for later or send at past time and then just have to click on send now and that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye